Hey, welcome back. This is Joe Glasgow for MUA TV's graduate show, and we are still here with Mr. Matthew Mungo. Um, I've been told by my producer that we have to ask you, and there's so many things I want to talk to you about, and you're going to have to come back many, many, many times, um, uh, because I, I know that our audience wants to ask you, uh, you know, a ton of questions. I want to ask you a ton of questions. And, uh, but it's a graduate show, right? It's a graduate show. So how did you go about coming to the Joe Blasco Makeup Artist Training Center? Well, I had finished my second year at Oklahoma State University in Oklahoma, in yes. Stillwater, Oklahoma. Yes. And I decided to go to Houston, Texas to work at Astro World. It, it had been all my dream when I was a kid to go work at an amusement park. I started out in food control, then I went to cash control. What did you want to do in an amusement park? I just wanted to work at an amusement park. You hmm. know, first I tried out for one of the characters, didn't make it for that, you know, it's because I was too tall. So, you know, one of the dancing characters. Right. So, <laughs> He's great. <isn't> anyway. he? <laughs> A little known. <laughs> a little known. Uh, and then, um, can I ask you what kind of dancing character this was that you tried out just, for? Uh, I think, oh, what was it, Marvin McFly? I don't know. Marvin McFly? No, or something like that. Some character that you know, the Astro World. Right, right. It's Six Flags. Okay, so you, you went there yeah. and you I didn't get the Houston. job. No, but I went to Houston and I started working during the summer. Right. And Star Wars came out. This was 1977. Star Wars. Star Wars came out. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I had followed Dick Smith's career. I had followed Rick Baker's career. Excellent. Well, Rick Baker came to town and at a science fiction convention. Excellent. So I had my portfolio. I went up to him, you know. Portfolio, <laughs> look at this. You know, he looked, you know, he looked at it. And he said, you're probably more cut out for the Joe Blasco Makeup Center. So I immediately, after I finished meeting him, went straight to the phone and called my uh, sister-in-law. Said, "Oh, I've, got, I've just met Rick Baker." <laughs> just, and, 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 and then, and then I went back to my apartment, you know, because that was my day off, and immediately called the Joe Blasco Makeup Center, so I could, you know, get all the criteria. Did he how, tell you to? Yeah, he did. He, he told me. Yeah. So I well, immediately I, thank called. Thank you. And, Rick? Yeah. All right, so, so, okay, so okay. anyway, he, you know, I called and, and got all the information, got all the, everything sent to me, right. and then went back to, to start in my next semester at Oklahoma State University, and I was miserable there. I called my brother when I first got there, and I said, I can't be here. I've got to move to California. I've got to move to Hollywood. I've got to become, you know, start doing makeup. Right. Because I had been doing makeup when I was 10 years old and, right. and through high school and through college. As soon as I got to Oklahoma State University, they put me to get to work doing costumes, which I love to do, and build, you know, fur costumes and makeup and stuff like that. And they knew I had a talent for it. Well, you know, my brother called my dad and said, Look, he's you know miserable. He needs so my dad immediately called my professor, who was my you know mentor at the, the my still, supervisor. Still, one of your yeah, mentors. Yeah, absolutely, there and said, you know, well, what about the school? And and so my professor called called the school to check up on it, you know. And then we had a meeting, a, a lunch, and he said, hey, you know, your dad wanted me to call. And, you know, I think it's a good school, you know. So I was like. I think I made all F's that semester, you know, because I was focused on moving. To Not at my school, you did. No, no, no. I, I there. Oklahoma State University. That's good. Except for an that A. Drove you here. Yeah, an A in scenic design I got. Right. So, anyway, on on December the 26th, the day after Christmas, I had loaded the car and left for Hollywood. All right. You know, not knowing a single person out there. I think I knew I had met Rick in passing, and I knew that I wanted to go to school. As soon as I got there, Dad said, you know, don't go to Sunset Boulevard, you know. I, Drive down to Sunset Boulevard. Stay away Boulevard. from Santa Monica Boulevard. Oh, which is Sunset <laughs> Boulevard, you know, whatever. Sunset. Found a place to stay that night. Don't go to the crossroads of the world. Next, no, no, no. It wasn't the crossroads of the world. It was, uh, you were at, had just moved into Gower. Oh, yes. Sunset Gower. Yes. You had just moved into Sunset Gower. Just moved into Sunset Gower. Yes. And that was... 
that was right after Christmas, and I got there the next day. I pulled into the school, introduced myself, you know, and immediately you put me to work doing stuff. Yes. You, know, you were so great at that. And school, and school didn't really start. When did I, I put you to work doing fe what? February the 18th. Sculpting. <laughs> sculpting. 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 Was I doing so? You no, know, I knew I wanted to was hang I out. Doing I, just I wanted to hang out and I, learn. He was I, your boat. I, wait a he had my pleasure in my boat. No. <laughs> Uh, were, did you help me with the, the aliens that I did for soap? No, that was much later. It was? Much later. This is 1977, oh, December right. 1977. Hmm. Came to the school. I just wanted to hang around. I just wanted an influx of makeup. That was my right. passion. I right. wanted to, you know. And then, then school started in February. But before that, I was just hanging around. You came beforehand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just Because I just wanted to move out there right. and get acclimated, get my California driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in California now. Uh, and uh, we started the school, and I was like a sponge. I couldn't yes, learn you were. enough. I was there day and night and night and day, and as much as I could possibly learn. You know, and immediately when I graduated, you put me to put me to teaching. That's right. You know, which was great because it taught me how to deal with people, Absolutely. interact with other makeup artists, yeah. confirm what I had learned at yeah. the school. You yeah. know, I didn't, I hadn't done beauty. And I needed right help. There. Yeah, well, I needed exactly. help. Exactly, and I loved it. I it couldn't do it all. I was still was working great. at ABC at the yeah. time. I was doing Rona mm -hmm. Barrett. I was mm -hmm. doing Carol Burnett at CBS. I was doing Orson Welles, Olivia Newton-John, Bette you, Midler. It's like, oh yeah. my God, who's gonna? You you also knew I, knew I could teach and had yeah the, had yeah. Well, the, you had a great personality, had you had great talent, you know. But I did want to get out and start working. So after a couple of years, I I started weaning myself away from teaching and, and started I got going. Angry. Oh, you got angry. I got angry. Oh, you're so angry at me. Ungrateful. He's <laughs> <laughs> so ungrateful. <laughs> Look at me now. I know. <laughs> That's so, so terrific. So you know I. You know, I just wanted to get out there and work. I Matthew learned how to apply a prosthetic appliance uh, on Mr. Orson Welles. A nose. A uh, nose. I took him. He didn't know where he was going. I took him to. You, you MUA TV viewers who are watching the show or watching MUA TV, you know, religiously have heard this a couple times. But he, I took him to Vegas because I didn't want to. I just didn't want to work a film, right? I was so busy with the school. I was so busy at ABC and all these people. And uh, Orson, he would call me like at 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning, Joe, I need a big nose. And so, so I, I said, okay, Orson, what time do you need the nose? Oh, how about 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock when, Orson? Well, today. <laughs> so, you know, I'd go to my jar of noses and I'd get a few noses and, and we got on an airplane, but he didn't know who we were going to be making up. And uh, we went to the house and uh, the you know the maid let us in and everything and then in walks Orson Welles and I Take and I did my bathroom. I did this on purpose what? I wanted to see the look on your face <laughs> and <laughs> and and we made him up in the bathroom I did the, I put the nose on real quick five minutes and uh, and then I had already told Orson I says you got to rip that nose off. And uh, I, uh, I said, because they, they were shooting that day. Yeah, they I were said, shooting that day. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, and, they were. Yeah, they were shooting that day. And, and I left you there, and I took off. You, but no, no, no. I think I put the were, nose on. Yeah. And and then and then I said to you, I said, I said, I said, do you think you can do that? And he went, oh yeah. And that was Orson's cue to rip off the yeah. nose. Orson ripped off the right. nose, and the look on his face was like, right. I said, okay, and I'll do it. And he yeah. did it in five minutes. I did it. You did. 1980. That and you stayed. That was the film Butterfly. Butterfly. With Pia, Pia Zadora. Pia Zadora. Stacy Keach. Stacy Keach. Pia Zadora. I've never seen that film. I haven't either. Through. We'll have to look. How did you think of? I mean, did you like working with Orson? Well, it was, uh, he's an icon. Well, I, I know. I was he's, very. He, but I you was don't want very. You don't want to keep. You don't want him to see an eyebrow pencil. Because if he sees an eyebrow pencil, oh. he would pick it up and start drawing lines on his face. Uh, on, on his eyes. Yeah. 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 He loved. Yeah, he loved. Put a little more in there. Put my eye down. You just put it in there. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. That was that was an interesting project. I think that was the project that my mom and dad really realized that you I, made it. That you I were serious. Yeah. Because that was you were on your way. part of their. 
their, you know, yeah, that reinforced that that, you know, what, that their support when I got had that been call is, it justified their support. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, I, we're going to. Um, now, first, I want to thank you for being so wonderful thank you. Thank you and for so coming much here. For and appreciate it. You enjoy, appreciate Matthew. It. Isn't he terrific? Thank you. That's great. All right, our next our next uh, guest is Deborah Lamia Denevar, and she is one of my graduates as well. And uh, right after these words, Deborah is going to be here with us, and you're going to stay here too. Okay? To. Don't you go away. We'll be right back.